hello everyone welcome back to the series series on the isocline last time we have done some basic ideas which tells about the genesis of this theory of isocline if someone would have who whoever have discovered this technique would have thought this way so but in our case we don't know the equation of the solution curve but what we know is the differential equation of the curve let the differential equation be dy by dx is equal to some function of x and y and remember x is in this case independent variable and y is dependent variable and y is dependent on x so to understand but the strategy is clear to everyone that we give some arbitrary value to this dy by dx and we then what we give let we give some value lambda arbitrary value lambda then we have f of x y is equal to lambda this one and we also may know that dy by dx is equal to tan theta so this tan theta is equal to lambda okay and this tells about the slope this is the curve for which the slope of the tangent at the tangent at the solution curve is equal means if uh, we draw this curve and find uh, the tangent or put uh, the tangent or we can say that if the solution curve cut this curve at any point then the angle make by, made by the tangent with the positive x axis will be this tan inverse lambda okay so let us understand this with a example with an example let first an easy example our differential equation be dy by dx is equal to x so what we do we replace this by some const arbitrary constant lambda means we put some value of this dy by dx so we have x is equal to lambda what are these curves if we give some value to lambda we get the lines these curves are, will be line such which line lines parallel to y axis we can give any value to this lambda let uh, let us put the values minus 2 or minus 1 minus 1 by 2 and 0 plus 1 by 2 and 1 okay so these will be the lines and also tan theta is equal to lambda and the lambda take these value okay lambda belongs to this set so let us draw this be our positive x axis this be our y axis okay so first uh, draw x is equal to 0 line what this will be this will be our y axis this is x is equal to 0 line for x is equal to 0 line the lambda is 0 this means tan theta is equal to 0 this means tan theta is equal to 0 means our theta is equal to 0 this will be the line and we draw the line segment means and these curve x is equal to lambda these curves are called the isocline and we draw line segments line segments with the slope theta is equal to tan inverse lambda for lambda is equal to 0 
then theta is equal to 0 means theta is equal to 0 so for theta is equal to 0 lines these will be parallel this means this segment this segment this segment this this now we draw we take lambda is equal to let 1 by 2 so this will be line passing this will be line parallel to y axis passing through 1 by 2 x is equal to 1 by 2 if you draw this on graph paper then this will be nice of you Okay, let this be line x is equal to 1 by 2. So for this line lambda is equal to 1 by 2. This means theta is equal to tan theta is equal to 1 by 2. This means theta is equal to tan inverse 1 by 2. So for the theta 1 by 2 means this angle theta will be 26 point uh, Five something or twenty six point five six something. So these these segments will be. Let us look at here. This is ang zero angle, and this will be forty five, and this will be some around twenty five or thirty, and this will be some around sixty and this will be something about 70 so the line segment which we draw for this line x is equal to 1 by 2 will make the angle 26 or something about 26 or 26.5 so these line segments will be in this direction these all will be parallel okay then now we draw the line x is equal to one line so for x is equal to one line this will be this line for this line tan theta is equal to one means lambda is one means tan theta is equal to one this means theta is equal to 45 degree and this will be this way okay so these line segments all will be parallel so these all will be parallel and if we like we can draw for 3 by 2 so let's take lambda is equal to 3 by 2 so this will be line x is equal to 3 by 2 this means lambda is equal to 3 by 2 means theta is equal to tan inverse 3 by 2 okay the value of tan inverse 3 by 2 is something 56 so this will be little bit above this means this will be something like this and these all line segments will be parallel and remember these my, for my case these are not it equal this will these all will be on equal level but 
if you draw on graph paper then this will be nice for up you similarly for this side also lambda is equal to minus 1 by 2 this will be this line okay and this will be x is equal to minus 1 line this will be x is equal to minus 3 by 2 line and if we draw a similar line segment for here for x is equal to minus 1 by 2 this theta will be minus 26.5 something so these line segments will be minus 26 means 90 plus 26 these will be some around this way Similarly, you draw for this, this will be minus 45 means 135. So, this will, these will be such. Okay. You can draw better on graph paper. And for minus 3 by 2, similarly, these will be some such. Okay. Now, for the solution curve, we know that these line segments are nothing but tangent to the our solution curve so just uh, as uh, i have discussed in first it first that if we know the tangent at some point of the curve then we can draw curve so we do something that we make this means we draw a curve which which passes through uh, which passes touching these are line segments so these curves will be this way and similar this side also this will not go th this will something like this and as we all know that a differential equation does not so or does not depend only a single solution or single curve it so a family of curve so the, this is not a single curve but a whole family so these all will be this way and this method is called isoplan these are the solution curve these are the solution curves okay hope you enjoy